Good morning everyone, especially my students. This is Sudashri Parvati from Professional Enhancement Cell. I'm your soft skills coach today and I'm taking you through a video lecture on goal setting. This topic is part of the course soft skills 2 SOS 102 unit number 1. What are we going to look at today? We are going to look at the goal setting process. When we talk about goal setting process, it is a journey a process which follows a process from changing your dreams to goals. Let us start by looking at what exactly do we mean by dreaming big and dreams. If you can dream it, you can do it. So why dream small? Let's dream big. Stephen Covey said that start with an end in mind. You can have a multiple types of dreams and multiple numbers of dreams. However, dreaming for your professional success, dreaming for what you would be at the end of your educational journey or your study program is very important. When we talk about dreams, let me give you an everyday example. Uh, when you go for your pre-placement examinations or a campus drive, or any job interview, you would be asked this question, what is important or what is unique about you? Describe yourself. Along with these two questions, you are also asked a very important question before you get the offer letter, which is where do you see yourself in three years time? Another important question that is asked is, where do you see yourself after five years? or where do you see yourself after 10 years? So this question of where do you see yourself after three years or five years or 10 years brings us to the picture of goal setting, knowing where you would go at the end of, of one year, at the end of three years of the journey of your life, or even a long-term goal beyond three years, like a five-year journey ahead a 10 year journey ahead. So today our video lecture aims to talk about the process of goal setting. I will take you through the process which is talking about our dreams, setting goals and taking action. In between setting goals and taking action there is the planning process and I have a worksheet for you today to take care of the goal setting technique to be applied in your daily life. I have a tool to discuss today in this short video lecture. I would be discussing the smart goal technique. This, this is a tool which helps you to translate your dreams to goals and this process is called as goal setting. Let us start by discussing the dream, the difference between a dream and a goal a dream and a vision. A big dream is essentially a bold vision. Let's come back to this quotation of Stephen Covey who said, start with the end in mind. When we say start with the end in mind, we are talking about the life cycle of a moth or a butterfly, a caterpillar, a pupae and then you get the pupae gets transformed into a beautiful moth or a beautiful butterfly. Let me start by talking about dreams of great achievers and a journey of life. I have two examples to discuss today. I would start with the example of the journey of our father of nation Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is known as an achiever. He is a father of nation, Indian nation and he is known across the world as an achiever who held non-violence beliefs to achieve freedom for India. So surely I would r consider Mahatma Gandhi as an achiever for our goal setting lesson today. He is our example one and then I will move to a second example from the industry. When we talk about the life of Gandhi, we know that 
he was born in the year 1869 and by the year 1947 he achieved many things. Firstly, he achieved freedom for India along with the cooperation and collaboration of many Indians including leaders, visionaries, etc. Talking about the other goals that Gandhi set in his life are making India self-reliant, also bringing equality and social justice in India. So if you look at the dreams of Mahatma Gandhi uh, when he went to study law at the age of 19, 19 is an age when people, young people especially like college students like you are studying, planning for your future and setting a goal. So Gandhi set a goal to study law to undertake a study program and become a barrister. So through this example, we understand that he achieved not only as a student, but also as a famous human rights activist. Of course, he was a professional barrister. He took action, he took activism to achieve his dream of uh, India and a world where there is equality, justice and freedom. The second journey or the example that I would like to talk about is the example of our famous industrialist from India, Mukesh Ambani, the chairperson and the owner, CEO of Reliance Industries. When we look at this vision, it is a family business example. The father, Sri Dhirubhai Ambani is also an achiever who set trend for his sons, a family business. What do we see through this second example of being an achiever who set smart goals, worked with an action plan and has seen business success to a great height. So this is our example number two in goal setting lecture today. So what do we understand? The difference between goals and dreams. When we talk about dreams, it's a vision. We want to do something, but we don't, we really don't have a clear picture. But when we set our goals, when we are clear about your goals, when we are clear about our aims, we know that we have to do certain tasks. Before that, we have to have an action plan. We have to have smart goals and set them, work on them to get the success. So the difference between dream and goals is this, goal is a dream with a deadline, goal is a set aims, statements which guide you towards your professional journey of success. For example, professional career, you have future goals, immediate goals, one term, one year goals, short term goals which you achieve within a year and long term goals from three years up to five years. So the difference between a dream is that you dream big and a goal is specific in the sense that a goal is specific, measurable, achievable, reliable and relevant and lastly it is timely. So goal, what is a goal actually? When we talk about goals, we have to understand that Goals are primarily set to achieve a desired outcome or a desired result for which a person plans and commits to achieve. So the process of setting such a outcome with a proper action plan and committing certain tasks to achieve that particular result is called as the process of goal setting. If we talk about the process of goal setting, we need to have an action plan based on the SMART technique and now I am going to take you to the goal setting SMART technique. So goal setting is a process where you have a, you have a chain of actions. First you start with a dream, a statement like I wish to be an engineer by the year 2025. I wish to be a lawyer by the year 2026. When we talk about or I wish to be a healthcare professional by the year 2023-24. I wish to go to Paris in 
two years time i wish to buy a car in three years time in these statements we find that there is something very common one the statement i wish to be i want to be i wish to be and i want to be is a dream visualized into a goal but what makes it a smart goal here let's look at this smart technique the first s stands for specific the second s m letter stands for measurable the third a stands for achievable the r stands for relevant the t stands for timely i'm going to take you back to the first s that is specific and discuss certain statements i wish to be an engineer is a dream and what makes it a goal is i wish to be an engineer by the year 2024 so timeline a deadline makes it specific i wish to pass my bachelor's program with flying colors by the year 2024 i wish to graduate by the year 2024 with distinction we added specific details to our dream to make it into a goal when we say a year a position and maybe the scenario is also visualized very clearly it becomes a specific goal set so when we talk about a goal let us review and understand that a goal is a well defined target which gives you guidance which also motivates you because you start seeing the picture of you achieving and holding something maybe wearing your graduate cap or you dressed as a professional facing the world with confidence and competence so goal setting is a process we in which you use tools which help you to make positive changes in your life form a new habit develop a skill realize a small dream and a big dream and also improve your performance task or activity what are the areas in your life where you can set a goal you can use the goal setting process as a student for your own professional development let us talk about personal development it could be as simple as becoming fit and healthy in daily life so if you have a specific goal it means that i want to be fit by june 2023 what would be the action plan maybe tasks to be done every month every week every day going to the gym is an action um making it possible is an action plan where you decide where you will go and exercise or do your gymming maybe you have to take gymming membership or maybe you have to work on your diet or you have to combine work and diet to achieve the goal or the desired result of becoming fit personal development can also be looked at in building relationships healthy relationships now as a student many students stay far away from their homes because maybe the school or the college or the institution they study could be far away from their hometown let us consider such a story or an example when students live far away from their parents and their guardians and their relatives it happens that relationships are long distance so if we have to maintain long distance relationships obviously the goal would be i wish to maintain a strong bond with my family for the next 3 years as long as i study here to set this goal let us apply this smart technique specific what's the goal the goal is i wish to have a strong relationship with my parents for the next 3 years what would be the smart goal i will talk to my parents every day over phone call at 9 pm that's a plan to make your wish a reality so it's a professional smart goal a specific aspect of goal setting 
let us talk about measurable. If you someone is calling parent every day 365 days a week, so we can have a, a scheduler or a checklist in our room where we say every day at 9 p.m. you are taking a call and you are talking to your parents. You can measure 365 times in a year every day at 9 you have called your parents. So, there will be 365 ticks on your checklist on a checker on your wall that is measurable. Measurable means you are able to measure how many times you took action and how many times you were really able to implement that action plan in a timely and a relevant manner. That is the measurable aspect of your goal setting. Achievable. If you set up a checker or a reminder every day, maybe on your phone or maybe in your Google uh, Gmail, which alerts you as through a notification that you have that you have to call someone at a specific point of time, you would be able to achieve and focus your attention to making that important call to build that healthy relationship with your parents. So, it is achievable and aggressive. The next R is realistic. When we talk about the word realistic, we are also talking about result oriented and relevant. What do we mean by realistic, relevant and result oriented? Three R's. Realistic means something that you have access to as resources. A goal is realistic when it is based on a survey of what is available for you as resources, people, equipment, place, infrastructure, amenities, books texts, references, visual aids, projects, free internet, everything is a resource for you to achieve your goals. So, realistic goal is something based on resources. The second R is about relevance. Relevant goal is something that is aligned to your desires both short term, long term, professional and personal goals. When we talk about relevant, it means maybe you are studying a bachelor's program. Could it is quite possible that you can take certain skill courses, skill development courses in order to enhance your professional success. That is a relevant choice, a relevant goal to take a short term course in order to support your long term goal of becoming a graduate, a professional graduate in any discipline, maybe engineering or applied sciences or management or healthcare or design or law or humanities or physical education. So, when we talk about realistic relevant goals goal setting and goal setting, we mean that realism and relevance comes aligned to your long term vision of yourself based on the resources that you have around you to which you have access. Result oriented, it is always important to have a smart goal as a statement. Now, when we talk about smart goals, I am talking about a worksheet like this. You know that SMART goals means specific, measurable, achievable, aggressive, realistic, time bound. So, let us have some statements in a worksheet. You can take a page, your notebook, on a page you put SMRT in a line in a vertical manner and against each one have a goal, have a dream. I wish to be an undergraduate earning my bachelor's degree in engineering by the year 2025. If that is your goal statement, it has to be smart. So, the first one is by when and what. Measurable, what is the measure that you have achieved this goal? It means that you will say a diploma in my hand, no black logs. 
no reappears a good cgpa on your scorecard on your progress report also is a measurable account another measurable goal is where you keep a track of how many co-curricular achievements how many certifications how many internships you have taken so that is the second parameter of measurable you write i wish to take three short term courses in 2023 24 one and 25 one per year so that is measurable why it is measurable you can easily verify it and check it at the end of that one year two year three year journey you take a pencil and you simply take as achieved a tick mark shows success for you you know that you are on the right track in the right direction the next one in the worksheet is achievable aggressive and achievable and aggressively what do we mean by achievable write a statement which says i will have completed three short term courses as part of my bachelor study program it is achievable there are two things achievable here in this statement three courses skill development courses as part of your study program any bachelor's program maybe three year so you have a graduate certification you have a graduate degree in your hand and also three certifications if you write it as a statement when you make your action plan for goal setting the next one is realistic and relevant and re resource driven result oriented so you need to write the resources available i will be, i will do my short term courses with the help of free mooc courses to earn certification i will pay an exam fee of 1000 rupees to achieve this goal of certification in so and so maybe oops maybe internet essentials maybe cyber security maybe logistics maybe image building or maybe a small three or four hour course in management essentials so have a realistic aspect of your goal the first goal that you given to yourself time bound i wish to achieve it in 12 months i wish to achieve it in 365 days so you have a time frame as well for your fourth for the fifth dimension that is time bound or timely result for your smart goal number 1 so the number of goals that you have if you have one goal you will have five statements one single sentence to identify and to direct you to what specific action are you taking what measurable things that you are going to apply to check whether you actually achieve the goal or not what are the achievables at the end of that particular time and what realistic resources that you have to help you to achieve that particular goal and by what time so in short using the smart technique when you use the smart technique and a smart goal setting worksheet it will be seen that you have readily achieved your goal for maybe it is a professional goal or maybe it is a personal goal so smart goal technique is something that we have looked at today talking about this very important smart goal technique it means that you are using this tool and writing good goal statements a good goal statement can also be connected to setting objectives also taking evaluation or analysis of what are the barriers or the obstacles that come in the way to set your goals so if there are any obstacles to set your goal what you need to do is have an action plan to address those obstacles have an action plan of people who can help you have an action plan of resources that you have um, for, that you can use at a particular time to overcome obstacles a very important part is knowing yourself as a part of goal setting 
identify and list skills that help you to achieve your goal. Know your strengths and then also use them to achieve your goals. Have a list, a checklist of people who can help you to achieve your goal. Have a list of skills and strengths that you have and your neighborhood has to help you. Also list the tangible, visible benefits and outcome that help you to really keep yourself motivated for achieving your goals. Motivation is very important. However, please remember that if you aim at nothing, you will gain nothing. You will always hit every time with no result. But hitting with an aim, hitting with a smart goal, like in a dart game, we hit the, we throw the dart. But if you are not sure about where is the target, we are not able to hit the target. So knowing the target is part of goal setting. Very importantly, let me paraphrase by saying that goal setting is not about what you want to achieve, but goal setting is very importantly about having an action plan and getting the desired results for which smart technique of goal setting is the way, a most important way, easy way for young college students like you all or people seeking progress and growth in their career to have a good growth, a good growth upwards to whatever they have dreamed they will achieve. So I am now going to take you to an exercise homework. I am going to give you an homework but before I give you homework I am going to recap what I have discussed today in this short video lecture. We started by looking at goal setting as a process where we have goal setting process uh, com consisting of three stages primarily one you have a dream then you set goals to those set goals you plan and then you translate it into action by taking action. So essentially there are four steps in this goal, goal setting process. Dreams changes to goals the moment they are set with a deadline. The moment you apply the smart technique a goal becomes a goal achievable. For the set goal you are creating an action plan. You have an action plan and work on the pl action plan to take action. So thinking big, dreaming big, setting your goal, having an action plan is a three stage process to goal setting. Very importantly, very importantly we discussed the smart goal setting technique today to help us achieve our goals for our professional and personal growth. So to sum up, smart technique of goal setting is an important managerial tool that you can use in your daily life and for that you need to have a smart goal setting template or a worksheet ready at your table. In unit number one, we would do the practical in the worksheet and the worksheet looks something very similar to this. You would have this uh, a goal. If you, let's say you have one goal, you write the goal first, then you specify the five elements, smart, specific, measurable, achievable, uh, result oriented, relevant, and the last one timely. You write five statements and your goal one is set to be worked for an action plan for tasks to be done and you can definitely see your vision of who you want to be and where you want to be at the end of one year, three year, five year, ten year, both short term and long term goals. So talking about goal setting, goal setting is a process in which you use a scientific method called as a smart goal setting technique. and 
you achieve your big dreams into a reality. So what are we waiting for here today students? Let's work on our dreams, turn them into goals and have great professional success. I would end this lecture with a homework. Please write your own smart goals, have a short action plan for one year, also have a long term visual statement, a statement and an action plan for three years up to five years which is a long term goal setting process. So we would be looking at you implementing that action plan with relevance with reference to the smart goals that you have set as part of this unit. So in unit one we have looked at goal setting wish you a great goal setting time in your practicals and the home task would be to set your own smart goals at least one professional smart goal to help you to become a successful graduate in the chosen field. Also one personal goal in terms maybe of a change of habit, maybe in building strong relationships or may doing an extra co a co curricular hobby etc. So one professional goal, one personal goal is something what we are looking for but you have may more than one we are very happy to encourage you and coach you to achieve your big dream and converting the, your big dreams into reality. All the best, thank you.